not do the projections. There's only one other component with labor, and that is the average hourly rate. Average hourly rate. I, as a restaurant manager, am going to decide what I pay everybody. Again, the NBA general manager of the team, the president of the team, even the league decides how much total money you can pay your team. There is a guideline. You can't just go off the farm and pay them whatever you want. So I'm going to determine average hourly rate based on this employee is really good, this is what I'm paying them. This employee is not so good, this is what I'm paying them. That's the only component left because this way I can figure out my labor before the week even started. Normally when people have trouble, troubles with labor, they don't know what the number is going to be. By the time they figure it out, it's too late. The week's almost over. I know what my labor is going to be before the week even started. I can sit here and total up the number of hours. I can times that at the average hourly rate. I take all my employees, add it together, divide it by the number of employees, and I have my average hourly rate. I know the number of hours by the average hourly rate. Together it equals total labor dollars. Divide the total label, labor dollars by my projected sales. I know what my labor percent is going to be before the week even started. I won't outspend my budget. I won't outspend more money than I have in my wallet.